everyone and welcome to my channel for today's tutorial I have two frames to show you guys how to make and these you can actually put photos in them and use them as a frame and the second one that I'm going to show you is this one this part right here is a shoe box but this these little things right here are all pieces of magazine that I put together if you would like to know how to make these two picture frames please stay tuned want to do is take your lid and turn it over and line the inside you can do this by either painting it or adding some type of decorative paper okay and so once you do that the next thing you need to do is draw the opening of the picture frame taking your exacto knife you want to cut out this square okay once you have cut out your opening next you're going to take your decorative paper and you're going to put glue all over the surface and then you're going to put your decorative paper onto it. Okay, so now what you want to do is turn the box over and we're going to cut this section. And so now you just want to glue these down and once again I'm going to use Mod Podge to do this. What I did was I took a piece of the shoe box and I cut it out and I used Mod Podge to place the gray decorative paper onto it. Because this is going to fit onto the back of the shoe box like this. The way we're going to do this is we're going to glue down three sides and then we're going to leave one side unglued. And basically that's going to allow you to slip the photo over down into the um, frame. So here is how we did this one. So, Okay, so now we're going to move on to the second frame. Okay, so now you should have all these sheets. Okay, so what you want to do is take one of them and then you're going to fold it like this and then open it and then take this edge and fold it to that center line. And then you're going to do it to this side. Then you're going to bring the both sides like this and then fold them like this. Then you are going to fold this in half like so and then you're going to open it And then you're going to have this, this shape right here. So then you just continue to make them. Okay, so I've done four of them so far, and right now I'm going to show you how to connect them. You can see inside here there are two pockets on both sides. And basically that is where the first one is going to go through. That's how all of them are going to go through, actually. And then you kind of just slip it through and pull, and there you have it. There's the first one. So the second one is basically the same thing. You're going to go in between the two little openings here. And you see like I'm having trouble pushing it through. 
To increase these, the size of these, all you do is pull like that. You're lengthening it. And then it allows it to go through. And you just pull it through like that. So this is the shape and you just continue on. So you're going to make four strips that have 10 on them each. Then you want to make two strips that have 14. And then you want to make two strips that have 13. Okay, so right now I'm going to assemble the frame so that you can have an idea of how the pieces go together. So you need a 14 piece here and then a 13 piece like this. Then you take one of your tins and place it here and take a second tin and place it like that. Then at the bottom you are going to place one tin like this and place the second tin. So then you place the 13 here like that and then the 14 behind it like that. So essentially this is what the frame is going to look like. So right now we are going to create the frame that this is going to sit on. Okay to create the frame you're going to take a shoe box and cut the shoe box. You're going to cut all four sides. Okay, so once you have cut all the sides, you should have a flat box like this. Now, and cut these sections off. Okay, once you have it cut out like this, what I'm going to do next is kind of reinforce it to, and stop these flaps from naturally wanting to come up. And the way you do that is you add a, you glue a sturdy piece to the back of it. So right now what we're going to do is cover the shoe box in decorative paper. Okay guys, so I Mod Podge decorative paper on onto the board, shoe box board. And so right now I'm just going to apply the pieces to see how they're going to fit and then after that I'm going to glue them. Okay guys, so here's what the final product should look like. And the picture fits right here. And you actually just lift up these little corners here. I didn't glue them down. And you can just slide the picture in there and it'll hold it in place.